your mic, right? What? You got a hot mic right now? Yes, sir. Everything catches everything. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, keep it clean. Mic up tonight. Mic, mic, mic. The microphones that we were using initially, they were about maybe the size of a square deck of cards. It just wasn't great for athletes to wear, especially in a game. I remember the first couple of times we wore those, felt like a big cell phone on your shoulder. <laughs> the wire would fall down while you're skating. We got new player mics that were both smaller and more durable and able to withstand the intensity of an NHL game. Player mic is something we use often. It's pretty funny to see the different players and their willingness to wear the mic. Get this thing out of here. Get this thing out of here. I always don't mind wearing it. I think it just gives the fans a fun perspective of guys' personalities and how they are during the game and on the ice. That bot's cool now. Obviously, the uh, staff does a pretty good job of taking out the things that shouldn't make it. Get a haircut, you Oh, sorry. Can't say I'm not too superstitious about it, but there are definitely some guys, and I won't name names, that they will avoid it at all costs. They won't be able to use much of it. The defensemen are always a little more difficult. Tanger's difficult. Tanger, you're difficult. I disagree. I think he's awesome. There are so many unique perspectives that you get when you have a player mic'd on the ice and captured some of the most iconic moments in the series history. Basically an errant stick from Hanger that hit me right in the mouth. Come back to the bench and you can feel all of them boost. Okay. Broke all my teeth. I was talking to Chris Stewart, the head athletic trainer, and Stewie was looking at his tooth and he said, it's definitely loose, you might want to pull it out. And at that point I was like, but he's going to pull out his tooth on the bench? Take it out so you don't swallow it. The only thing he said is like, basically, if you're going to swallow them, give them to me. That's basically what Stewie told me. Like, all right, so I yank one, two. They're fake from here to here. There's the, the front eight. <laughs> we better hope you play against them all night. In the past 10 years, we've had some iconic moments where guys are wearing mics. Jake Gensel mic'd up when he had four goals in a playoff game in Philly. Yeah! <laughs> it's like hitting the lottery. I told you, two for two. Just an intense game overall. There was one fan that was kind of given to me the whole game. Jesus, pay for front row tickets, nice. <laughs> pay to watch us play. They got off to a good start, and then we kind of took over there as the game went on. <laughs> After that, just kind of give him a little swerve and see what he would do. That's three. He just kept giving it to him, and he's counting off his goals, basically, as he gets them. Real original. It was the most fun mic I've ever gotten to film live, because Jake just went off on that game. Woo! It was the perfect time, at the perfect place, with the perfect player. And he scores four goals. Whoa. 